America's return to the moon runs through King County this week. NASA representatives stopped by Redmond, where a company is working on engines for the Artemis mission. Comos Theron Zahn spoke to NASA about the engine's importance and what's coming next for a lunar exploration. Three, two, one, and liftoff of Artemis 1. NASA's Artemis campaign is a bold series of missions to take humans back to the moon. And those astronauts will get there with help from rocket engines made in Redmond. If we didn't make these engines, then there wouldn't be any sort of orbital maneuvering system. There wouldn't be a way for the crew module to safely come back to Earth. It's really important to us that we make engines that we know are going to work well and work right. We're told each of the first three Artemis missions uses 32 rocket engines produced at the L3 Harris facility in Redmond. NASA representatives paid a visit this week. So much to do on the moon. We're going there for science. There's scientific discoveries to be made. The Apollo missions went only to the equatorial regions. So imagine if you visited Earth but only went to the equator. There's so much more to see on the moon. The next mission, planned for no later than April of next year, will take humans around the moon for the first time since 1972. But there's a lot of harsh uh, realities associated being in space that you have to deal with, radiation being one of them. And you are multiple days away from Earth, unlike on low Earth orbit, so you have to bring a lot of systems uh, in terms of redundancy and, of course, consumables with you. The third mission will land astronauts on the lunar surface, bringing NASA closer to its long-term goals. A lot of scientific discovery to do. We want to set up moon bases, do all the things. Theron's on Como News.